It uh, came in just for Christmas and we had it fully installed last week and training was done earlier this week. Not your first machine is it from start? No, this is our fourth now. Um, we initially started with two size 20 machines and we've now bought 232, so the fourth one from start. Well, this is a great machine for us. Uh, we've part of a turnkey package for a project of work in excess of one million components. With any of our machine tools, any project, we go to market and look at what is best suited for the particular product we're trying to produce. It just so happens that again and again and again, Star are that machine tool provider. We bought the machine last September, uh, back in the 2016. It was the, the natural next step for us. We had 14 Star machines from an SR10 to an SD32. This was the next step, an ST38, which gives us capacity up to 40 mil diameter. Uh, we can do multi-axis milling, balance turning. Many years ago, when sliding heads were the old Swiss style machines, they were cam, cam set, cam driven, and it would take a, a setter probably anywhere between six, eight, ten hours to set the machine. Nowadays, with the improvements in planet control systems, you can set a machine in probably an hour to three hours, depending on the complexity of the part. So. You can set up smaller batch runs. We've run a job over there recently for 100 parts. Sure, we've um, we've gone um, for the 20 mil bar machine. However, we've got, we've bought the extension, the optional extra. So we've gone to 22.278 diameter. So we've gone for the um, 41 tool option. So we have a nine axis um, and the program will be axis. There was a misconception that to buy a sliding head blade you've got to be into big volumes, but well, that's not the case. Um, some of the more complex parts, we, uh, we make tens and twenties off in the stars. And do you still find that more efficient than maybe making them on one of your, your fixed head machines? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about times. Uh, as long as you can program the machines and uh, uh, the desired time, then you're going to get the results. Okay, this particular part is it's a rotor. Um, before the sliding head, it used to be done on a conventional lathe and then milled using a four axis. With this machine, we've done it, do it all in one operation, around about seven minutes. And what does HFT, high frequency turning, do for that type of machine, m machining on that material? It's the swarf management that I was most impressed with, and it um, makes safer on this part. With the software, we are turning the, the full length of this component down in 304 stainless. We're turning the, the front portion down for the thread, we're threading it, continuing along for the, for the thread relief and then turning the whole diameter in one go. The, the beauty of the software is that we're not getting any birds nesting around the part which allows us the subspindle to easily pick the part up ready for the back operations and also due to the, the, the nature of the software you don't have to take the depth of cut typically you normally have to take typically to get the, the swarf to chip. We spend a lot of money on uh, good quality machine tools because all we machine is stainless steel. Uh, fixed head machine is quite expensive uh, of the calibre we buy which is twin turret, twin spindle. The sliding head option, we found we could buy a machine for less than half the price of one of those and move some of the work that they were doing onto that machine also freeing up capacity on our fixed heads. So. They've been very good to me and I, I will say whenever I've rung them, either it's for advice or sales service applications, it's a bit of a bit of a hackneyed old cliche but you do feel like you're their only customer when you're speaking to them. They're very good. They've been very good for us. It's a cliche but they really are second to none. Um, support is excellent. Spares is great when we need it. Fortunately not too often. Um, the, the thing I really like about Star is they're really like a big family at Star. So, you know, it doesn't matter when, we can call them even out of office hours and we get the support and the advice that we want. It's a support block. We made it from 38mm round bar. Uh, we milled it on, it on every side. You to see that part, most engineers would think it was a milled part. It was actually made on a slide head machine. And I think what's interesting as well is this, the material that this is and how you went about machining it because it shows the stability of the machine, isn't it? It is. It's EN16T, so it's, it's a heavy duty material. It's, high tensile, it's uh, doing it on the ST38 gives us the ability to machine it through the night, which made it extremely competitive to anybody else approaching the job. Uh, that's one of the main reasons we chose this sort of machine. Yeah, so as an example, the first job that we did on this machine was a 20mm diameter part with uh, two holes in it, and we were running that as two separate operations before on an on a old model of doing the job. Um, now we're running it on this machine here and it's reduced the cycle time down from a 
four minute cycle time down to a one minute five seconds and we actually think with experience we'll be able to reduce that even more. Part of the reason yes there's the, the b-axis so I can do angled cross milling and drilling but I can also use the b-axis for front working and back working also and the other big selling point for me was the y2 axis on the back which means I can get um, eight back working tools working on the back side independently. Um, I would say when you, anyone can buy a machine, throw it on the shop floor and put a wire in it and then start making parts, but there's obviously more to it than that. Um, the support is uh, paramount in our book and Star have been 100% helpful, not, not just in getting the machine on the shop floor up and running, but they've really helped us to organise the whole shop. It's, uh, it's been incredible what they've done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the job that's currently running has been reduced down from nearly five minutes down to a 40 second cycle time. That's just fantastic. But and we were looking at this and we're, we're saying actually that should be reduced even further. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's been frightening what the, the, the how fast the machine is. Fair to say, changed the business quite dramatically. Definitely on the turning section, without a doubt.